For this recipe, you have to prepare all the tools and ingredients you need ahead of time because it goes super fast and you need to have everything right there on hand. There are just a few ingredients you need to make caramel. That's sugar, water, cream and butter. First, set your stove to medium-high heat. Then, dump the sugar and the water into a pot. Don't whisk, just fold them gently together. Put the pot on the stove and let the sugar cook. It will take around 10 minutes until you start seeing some color. It's very important to not whisk the sugar. Whisking at this stage can result in your caramel turning lumpy after cooling down, which you don't want. We want a smooth, soft and silky caramel, so don't whisk. Now that some color is starting to form, if you want to even it up, you can give it a little swirl. And that's all it needs. Place it back on the stove and continue cooking. The longer you cook the sugar, the darker it will get. And the darker sugar results in a more bitter taste, which I like because it brings up a lot of flavor, but if you don't like the bitterness, just remove the pot when the sugar has a light brown color and this will result in a sweeter caramel with no bitterness. The next step will be adding the cream into the sugar. And here you have to be very cautious because there is a risk of getting a steam burn. So make sure you're not standing above or too close to the pot. Also use a whisk with a longer handle and wear a baking glove if you have one to protect your hand. Start adding the cream while whisking vigorously until it's all well incorporated. Add the butter and continue whisking until everything is dissolved and incorporated. Next, place the mixture again on the stove and let it come to a boil. You can give it some quick stirs and once it starts creating nice foamy bubbles, it only needs 3 or 4 minutes until it's done. You know it's ready when it just starts to get a little tangy. Take it off the heat and let it cool down before you pour it into a jar. And that's it, a very easy recipe, anyone can do it at home and the best part is that you get to control how light or dark you want your caramel to be and of course it's free of any nasty ingredients you might find in caramel you purchase from the store.